right, hello everybody. Um, welcome to our final Wellness Wednesday session for our Winter Wellness Wonderland program. Our 15 minute workout today is going to simulate a glider workout. If you don't have gliders, use um, paper plates. That's going to work well for carpet. If you're on a hardwood floor, you're going to want to use towels. Okay, my name is Ellen. We're going to get going. As soon as we're done, Alicia's going to take it away and we're going to talk about creating healthy habits and goal setting for the new year. That's sort of a, a finish to the end of our program. So let's start with these paper plates and or towels. So really quick warm up, just about two minutes. You're going to start with the plates or towels under your feet. You want to make sure that your heel is off of that plate or towel so you can still have a little bit of traction. You don't want your entire foot on it or else you might slide all over the place. Okay, so we're going to start with side to side squat. So it's similar to a regular squat stepping out. Instead of stepping, you're going to push on that towel or that plate and sit back into your squat. Let's go ahead and get started. So down and up. And again, you want that heel off of your towel or plate, just so you keep a little bit of friction there with the floor that you're using and just a little more stability. Or else you'll slide all over the place. So we're going side to side with these squats. All right, we're gonna do this one more time on each side. Then we're going to do an inchworm walkout with a knee tuck. All right, here's your inchworm walkout with your knee tuck. You're going to walk out to your plank position. You're going to slide those knees in, push back out, walk back up. So we're going to do that a couple times. Go ahead and get started. I'll show you here from the front. If you are just joining us, you're going to want paper plates or towels for your workout. So if you're using carpet as your surface, you want paper plates. If you're using hardwood floor, you'll want towels. Let's do this one more time. Nice strong plank. Bring those knees into your chest. Push back out. All right, let's go through it one more time from the top. Side to side squats in three, two, let's go. Down and up. Already feeling warm. So this workout, we're gonna fill all those smaller muscles because we're using the plates or the towels. It's gonna to feel slightly different than just your body weight. And hopefully you learn something new and something different with this workout. All right, one more on each side. Pushing against that towel or plate. Let's come back to one final round of our inch from walkout with that knee tuck. Go ahead and get started. Hinging up the hips. Walk it out. Take an inhale. Exhale, pull those knees in. Push back out and come on up. Perfect. The plates and the towels also allow for all of these movements to be low impact, which is awesome. Right on the joints. High intensity, right? Low impact. I'm feeling this. We have time for one more. Walk it up. All right. So we're going to get started. Remember, this is just a quick workout. So we have three, four minute segments. What you're going to do for your first one is just keep one of the plates. We'll start with the right. You're gonna do five reps of one exercise and then do five of another. And you're gonna loop that in a circuit for four minutes. So your first one is going to be a knee repeater. So you're gonna start with that right foot, arms out. You're gonna slide it in. So you're gonna get nice and low in that squat. You're gonna do five on the right, switch. And then do five on the left. As soon as you're done with those five, you're going to go into a curtsy lunge. Again, five on each side. And then you would switch. 
four minute loop. So we're gonna move the entire time. This allows you to go at your own pace. All right, five knee repeaters, right leg first, ready, set. Your four minutes starts. Nice and low, we're gonna take it up one and two, three, four, five, and switch. Other side, one. So I'll do this first round with you all. Three, four, five. Once you're done, five curtsy lunges. So I like to keep my hands in prayer here or on my hips. Keep your shoulders stacked on top of those hips. This is a skater or a curtsy lunge. I'm gonna do one more, five on each side. And switch. Keep those hips tucked under just a little bit. Work that core. This foot we don't want on a towel or plate because we want this one to be stable. Slide it back. I got two more. Once I'm done, you go back to the top and just repeat that in the loop. All right, back to my knee repeaters. Here we go. One, you can get nice and low here and you can adjust your speed. This is your workout, right? Oh, I'm already out of breath. This is ridiculous. Maybe you pump your arms, maybe get a little lower. Think of like chair pose and yoga, right? Get nice and low. Shouldn't feel anything in those knees, all in the glutes and the quads. We're only a minute and a half in. <laughs> Woo! So I started using this format for some of my classes this week. It does require some work. We have to count, right? But that's good for us. And it allows us to all go at our own pace. And it sort of gives you that sense of accomplishment, right? You gotta do five reps on each side. Once you start to get the hang of it, maybe you get a little bit lower in those movements. Woo! As soon as the four minutes is up, we move on to two new exercises. So we're a little more than halfway. Three, four, five, and switch. Woo! Pop my arms here, two, just kind of switch it up a little bit. Three, four, and five. Once you're really push into that plate, really slide it across the carpet or wood floor, whatever you are using. Let's see it. How are we doing? Awesome. How are we doing, Claire? Woo! There she is. Remember the blinders that we used to use at FOHO, those purple things. So you don't need them, right? Household items, get your towel, grab your plates. Woo! Keep it up. So upper body will be coming up next. You'll get a really quick break. Just enough time for me to show you what's coming up. Keep it going. Looking good. Woo! Feeling those legs. All right, we got less than a minute to go. Finish strong. So about 30 seconds in, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the next exercises because I'm only gonna give you a 15 second break after this and then we're gonna go into our second circuit of four, okay? All right, so you keep moving. Here are our next two, it's upper body. You wanna make sure you have a mat or something for your knees. We're gonna do push-ups, five on each side. So you slide the plate out and lower. Five on each side, lower. You can take your time, a little breather, and then switch. Keep going with your lower body for five more seconds. Your pull-downs are going to be next. All right, you get a 15-second break. Take a look at my screen. Push-ups for first. Here's your second exercise, a pull-down. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale, lift up halfway, pull those elbows in. Now I want you to do 10 of these instead of five because it's so important to work our low back, okay? So five side to side push-ups on each side and then our pull downs. Here we go, come on down. We're starting a four minute circuit right now. Let's go. I know it's fast, but it's only 15 minute workout. So feet, my hands start together, I slide out, bend the elbows, Come back up. So this targets more of the core. Woo! Rather than just a regular push-up. I got one more on the side. 
And then it's a great time to take a little bit of a breather here. Woo. And you could also do these on your toes, right? So now I'm gonna do the other side. I need my mat for my knees. Keep it up. Four minutes, non-stop. Inhale, exhale, want those elbows back. Down and up. I know that this one's a lot more challenging, but you got this. Woo, come on. And maybe you just do one on each side. You take a breather and then you come back into it. All right, so now I'm on my pull downs. I want 10 of these. Lift. Inhale, extend, exhale, lift and pull those elbows in. Your feet are about hip distance. Here's four. Woo. Here's five. Six. Your eyes, your nose, and your mouth are looking straight down. So we're not looking up and messing with our neck. Keep it straight down. Nice long neck. Woo, two more. Reach and pull, last one. All right, and now back to push. So here we're off, we're doing push and then a pull, right? Opposing muscle groups. Let's go. Woo. I should have given you all some music. Alicia, sing for us. Woo. Okay, now I'm feeling this. Oh my gosh. Nobody so, wants to hear that. Sing for us. Woo. You are more than halfway. Just keep looping this in your push-ups and pull-downs. Come on. Woo. Inhale, lower, exhale up. So same thing with your lunges. When you're doing your push-ups, the hand is not moving. Ideally, have flat on the floor without your towel, without your plate. So you're not shaking all over the place, right? Woo! All right, my pull-downs are coming up. Inhale and exhale, come on. Slide those elbows in towards your obliques, in towards your sides. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders, the chest here. Inhale and exhale. I want you to really push those hands into the floor. Carpet or wood floor, really slide and pull them down so we get those muscles really working hard. Same thing for your push-up. Push away and then pull back up. You're gonna feel your core and your shoulders a little bit more. Guess what, 30 seconds. Not to go any faster, but just to keep moving, you're gonna finish where you finish. And our last four minutes is gonna be core. So I'm gonna show those. You keep doing your upper body. I'll get us set up. We're gonna do some single leg ham curls, and then we'll do a plank toe tap. Variation. All right, you got a few more seconds. I'll wait so you can see me on the screen. Keep going for four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, take a look at my screen. You want your heels on the plates or towels. Your toes are lifted up, all right? You're in your bridge, single leg. Inhale, exhale. Oops. You might have to catch that plate if it runs away from you, right? Five on each side, 10 total. Ideally with your hips lifted. That's too much for your back. You lower your hips to the floor. And then your toes are on the gliders, or your plates, right? Forearm, okay? Out to the side, center, side, center. Five on each side, 10 total. And I'll show you a way to switch that up. Ready, set, four minutes. And we're done, let's go. This is your last four minutes, heels on the plates. Hands down, lift those hips. Inhale, extend your right leg. Exhale, pull it back and switch. Woo, once you think of digging your heels into that floor. Imagine you're sliding something in towards you. Really squeeze and pull. Five each side, 10 total. Woo. The key here is not allowing those hips to drop unless it's too much. And then you could do this with your hips on the floor. Keep going, 10 total. 
And then you're gonna flip it over, balls to the feet on those plates or towels. And your plank could be forearms or hands, whatever you want. Out to the side, center, side, center. There's four, five, six, legs are straight, seven, eight, woo, nine, ten. And then I flip it over, repeat. Let's go. Woo. There goes my plate again. <laughs> But then that really works those hamstrings, right? You gotta reach, you gotta pull it back in. So getting those glutes and hamstrings here. Keep those hips lifted. Keep it up. Five on each leg, 10 total. If you sit all day for work, this is a great exercise. Ooh, the last couple of my hips down. I'm gonna show you something a little bit different for your plank toe taps because we have the plates, the towels, we can really do a lot of fun, different things that are low impact. So you can do little frog legs. You bring your knee in, slide out, create a circle, right, on your forearms or your hands, in and slide. You can even take it out to the side, back center. So whatever variation you wanna do there, maybe change it up. We are more than halfway there. Less than two minutes. I'll show you another variation. Frog legs, both feet, both legs in and out. Woo! Oh yeah. Just keep your hips and your butt nice and flat. We don't want those hips dropping or lifting up. Keep going. 10 and 10. Woo! Let's go, let's go. We're getting close to that minute mark, that final minute. How are you gonna end your workout? We'll just get a quick stretch after this. This one plate keeps sliding away. Woo! If that does happen, you can have your feet flat on your plates or towels. Woo! 10 and 10. And then flip it over. All right, we got less than a minute. I'm gonna try a straight leg. Out to the side, abduction. Bring them across as far as I can. Woo! So this is something a little bit different. We always do taps, right? So try something different that really you can only do with those paper plates. You can bring the legs out and then in. Maybe reverse your frog legs. Woo! Come on. Hands or forearms in that plank. Guess what? 10 seconds. Finish where you're at. Let's try a couple more froggers. Here we go. Last four. Three, two, and one. Woo! Great job. Stay nice and low. Let's just find the child's pose. Was that fun? Hopefully, it was hard and fun, right, Susie? <laughs> Yes, good job. Relax that head. Take a couple of deep breaths, sitting those hips back. Great job, everyone. Whew. So I don't know about you, but my heart rate is up. So I got a little bit of cardio, even though we really were doing strength, but we we're using more muscle. So it just gets our heart rate up, burn a little more, more calories than usual because it's just so much harder with the plates and towels. Slowly come up and let's find a tabletop and we'll finish with this stretch right here. A nice cat cow. Inhale, dropping the belly, lift the chest and then exhale, chin the chest, round the spine. And let's do that one more time. Big deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Woo, down dog as you come on up to standing. I was stopping a down dog on my way up. You can pedal up those heels and then roll up to standing. And we're gonna join Alicia for a quick discussion on creating healthy habits and goal setting for the new year. Woo! Great job, everyone. Take a seat, grab some water. How are we feeling? Ellen, that was awesome. Thank you. I know, I know I didn't do it all. I took a lot of notes. I learned a ton. That awesome. was great. Good, good.